Well, how's it going, y'all? Welcome to another Worship Wednesday. We're so glad you could join us and just take a step back from your day. And we're gonna worship the God who is above all things, who is the God of the impossible, who is gonna do even more than we could ever ask or imagine. He's faithful and true. And let's just worship him together. minutes ago, Braden and I were talking about how cool it is to see Jesus in the New Testament and the impossible things that he's done. And in Matthew chapter eight, there's a centurion that comes to Jesus and he says, you know, Jesus, will you heal my servant? And Jesus says, yes, I'll go with you. And he says, no, no, you don't have to go with me. I just, I trust and I believe that 
what you say you'll do, it will happen. And so today in the middle of your day, we're thinking about the God of the impossible, the impossible things that he can do and the things that he's done. And so as we look forward to the future, I wonder, you know, maybe you're at work or you're in your home or you're doing dishes or you're changing diapers or whatever it is that you're doing right now. If you can just take a moment to remember what he's done, what an encouragement and a source of hope and a source of life that that can bring into all these mundane moments of our day. And I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful for what he's done. And I wanted to read this scripture. Um, in Psalm 105, it says this, hallelujah, thank God. Pray to him by name. Tell everyone you meet what he has done. Sing him songs, belt out hymns, translate his wonders into music. Honor his holy name with hallelujah, you who seek God. Live a happy life as you keep your eyes open for God. Watch for his works. Be alert for the signs of his presence and remember the world of wonders he has made. And so let's just take a moment. We're gonna sing another song and maybe you can do this. Maybe you're in a place where you can sing out loud right now with us and worship. Or maybe you can't, but you can just set time aside in your heart right now to worship, to think about what he's done, to praise him for the work that he's done on the cross and also just the little details of our lives that he cares about and that he's a part of. So sing with us if you can in this moment. For the freedom he has won, he 
God, thank you for being in this moment right now with us, for being present with us. God, I just pray that as we go about our day, that your spirit will just inhabit your praise, inhabit our lives, that we'll be able to sense your presence and know and remember that you're there. God, we thank you for an opportunity to worship you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for singing with us, for joining us in worship today. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time. <laughs>